welcome everyone to uh, Rejoice Christian TV. I wanted to share with you that we're going to continue this week with Show Me Your Harvest and how you can guarantee your positive returns. Mm -hmm. And today we talked about Genesis, that was the text, was Genesis 8.22. And today I also want to define what the seed really is. You know, a lot of times, you know, you hear so much about money, money, money. But there are other things that a seed represents, that a seed germinates into. So a seed is anything valuable that you give up to help others. It could be money, it could be time, it could be resources, yeah. it could be skill, your talents, encouragement. your gifts, your encouragement, kind words, an encouraging smile, even a smile, even a hug, a hug you know, as I've seen people who've never had a hug before in their, life, in their lifetime. And also, you, we define a seed must be given away before it is of any good. And today, you talked about four parts of what this seed um, could do. You said, sow your life as a seed. Sow with a view of righteousness. And also, plant positive seeds and plant quality, quality seeds. seeds. And today, what would you like to share with the audience that would be out of all this four? I, you know, I've given you the four. So, what would be your piggy back to as to all out the four points you should put us today? Well, um, they all <laughs> is there a particular one you want? To well, we could to? talk about plant positive seeds. Okay. And yeah. in planting positive seeds, then so that means there's negative seeds. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The story of J uh, of uh, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jacob and Esau. The Bible says uh, Esau mm -hmm. said to Jacob, I said, Jacob, you are a supplanter. You supplanted me twice. Mm -hmm. You took my birthright and you took my blessing. Mm -hmm. And so that was how Jacob started his life. Mm -hmm. By deceiving and, you know, scheming and strategy to, to take the place of another that's what supplanting me. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? Of all the people he could come up with and come into his life, it was Laban. Mm. So what happens is that when you sow the wrong seed, somehow there's a law of attraction. And you start attracting the wrong people into your life. Mm. And so that's what happened. Jacob, of all people he could have landed with, it was a master yes. scheme. I mean, Jacob, Laban deceived him. I mean, gave him a wrong wife, wrong woman as a, as a wife. Secondly, changed his wages ten times. And it didn't stop there. Mm. Jacob's children also deceived oh, their yes. dad. Mm. Oh, that's Yeah, true. in Genesis 34, um, mm. when you were dealing with uh, the people, Shechem. So they deceived their dad. Then secondly, they also had a deception when they said, oh, your son, Joseph, is dead. dead. Okay. And for 13 years, Under Jacob had to live with that thought, oh, my, my son is dead. So, he was mm -hmm. set into motion, all kinds of deception around him. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's important to know that we want to make sure we're planting positive seeds mm -hmm. so that we don't set those things in motion where we are having we returns, returns that, we're not, that we're, not, we're not excited about. Whatever yeah. you do for someone, someone will do back they, on to you. They did it for Jacob I many think times. it's always a sin. And I like the fact you said it was 10 times his wages were, and then he had to do 14 years of labor for the same thing he wanted. And that's kind of so strange because he said, this man deceived me and kept me you know, out of order. And not also another one I also would like is, be so with a view of righteousness. Mm. That is a big word. So with a view of righteousness. Yeah. How do we so with a view of righteousness? <laughs> Think about it. We have right standing with God. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. So we must have fruits of righteousness mm -hmm. based on our platform of righteousness that we have with God. Mm -hmm. When we begin to pray, mm -hmm. when we begin to, when we begin to mm -hmm. uh, have long and study and long for God's blessings, mm -hmm. you know, that's sowing. You know, that's in Hebrews 10, 10, verse 12. Exactly. It says, sow in righteousness and then you will reap. And then you talk about harvest, you're going to reap. You're going to reap mercy. Mm -hmm. You're going to reap God's loving kindness in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's why when you see mothers praying for their children, mm. it's because they are sowing in righteousness. Mm. 
Amen. The child may be wayward, but you gotta pray more than praying and praying. So don't stop praying. Oh, keep praying. And then the next thing you see, turn the son or daughter turns around, mm -hmm. and it begins to serve God. Amen. And that, my friend, is that the fruits mm -hmm. of righteousness mm -hmm. that the mother can say, "Oh, thank God, I've sown mm -hmm. on the seed. I'm enjoying the fruits mm -hmm. of so righteousness." So most of our sowing should be thinking about the future. Because most people do things in the now, but they forget about the future. Look at Jacob, he forgot about the future. Abraham yeah. did not for he did not forget about his future. He did everything so that, you know, so anything we do now yeah. is also a seed. Oh because our lifetime is a seed sowing period. So as long as we understand that the future comes or mm -hmm. things will come back to us, yeah. our sowing time should be will be in view of oh is this a righteous plant seed and planting and and that was why jesus christ in john chapter 12 24 he said i'm giving my life as a seed Hallelujah. he said except the seed falls down and dies he said it remains alone hmm. so but when it is planted it yields most and that's why he gave his life as a seed so that now we have many many sons Amen. many many sons of god so so also abraham well, with, yeah. yeah, so we thank God for what God has um, shared with us, what you, you've been able to share with us. So what is a seed? Remember, even a smile, smile at someone could brighten their day. Even yeah. a hug, even an encouraging word. That's a lot right. of us spend time on Facebook. Encourage others rather than bringing things that will bring people down. We want to tell you, your harvest is guaranteed. Amen. Just make sure yes. you're sowing the, the right seeds. seeds. Make yeah. sure you're sowing positive seeds. Make sure you are sowing in view of righteousness and sow your life okay. as a seed. And the Lord bless you. I forgot to see you again. <laughs>